Cat in a dog's world, or the Mew token has almost doubled in the last week. We are back into meme coin season. The question is, is this already the end of the rally? Historically, if we zoom out, this might look pretty bad. However, once we look behind the curtain on chain, there's actually some interesting statistics most people aren't considering. So this is the rally I'm referring to. We are currently at 0.7 cents. The price is up 82% this week. And I've published videos on the Mute token a long time back, 120 days ago over here. Another video 102 days ago. And at the time, the price was only at 0.4 cents. I publish videos on meme coins regularly and I try to be early. And so if this is your first time researching the Mute token, maybe consider following channels like this, right? Again, I try to publish videos when most people aren't yet considering a token. Now here's the potential problem with the price chart. This is all the history we've got on coin market cap and we are very close to all time highs in the price. And this, because historically we dumped afterwards, could be a potential warning. But the rally that we're seeing recently is somewhat different. Let me show you some interesting on-chain data. Here's the number of first-time traders versus recurring traders on any given day for the MU token. And on the 20th, we've seen a massive influx of first-time traders. On the 21st, we even saw more first-time traders than recurring traders on a single day. The 20th was over here, the 21st was over here. Now, why does the number of first time traders matter it's because it shows that the investor base is growing right and the more people get into a token the higher the price can potentially go right it's new capital it's new people getting into a token that in the end increases the price long term and so i always like to look at charts like this on the 23rd, unfortunately, we've seen more recurring traders than first time traders. And since the 23rd, we aren't growing that much anymore. And of course, today has just started, so we can forget about the 24th. This data is not yet complete. Now, here's another very interesting chart. And especially this part of the chart is interesting. This is the retail investor, as in how much of daily trading volume is generated by the wallets that have less than a thousand dollars worth of the Mew token. That tends to increase over time and that's healthy because retail investors tend to not sell as quickly compared to large retail or whales. Thus, when the retail investors are now buying in more and more, I believe that the price floor is also likely going to increase over time. Now this is a normalized chart, right? This simply just looks at the percent of trading volume done by those different cohorts. Here's the same chart, but not normalized to 100%. Here it's shown in raw US dollar amount. And we can clearly see again on the 21st, attention peaked massively for Mu, and it stays at that elevated level. Now there is something interesting though, and that is that the number of holders, interestingly enough, isn't growing. So even though there were a lot of new first time traders, when we look at the number of wallets with 100,000 tokens here on the left, so that's roughly $762 worth of the token, we actually don't see that going up. And we go another 10x from that, so a minimum holding of $10,000. We've seen how this has stabilized a bit. So that's in the last two weeks. When we look at the number of whales, so that's a minimum holding now of $76,000 roughly. That has grown in the last month, but the growth had been relatively modest relative to the dump that preceded. So how is it possible that the number of whales is shrinking by more than 20% while the price is close to all-time highs? I think it's because trading volume is moving from directly the Solana chain to the centralized exchanges. So have a look at this. We've still got 13% of trading volume on chain on Radium, but we do now have Bithump and Bybit and OKX also within the mix. HTX and Gate.io are also involved. There's also Perpetual Futures and that's especially active on Binance. So the very big boys are now entering as well and they're likely going to potentially manipulate the price, especially in the direction most people aren't anticipating. In other words, if most people are now betting on falling prices on those centralized exchanges of this token, if most people think that this is again a peak and that we're going to dump in cat in a dog's world and the centralized exchanges might simply buy up the token more and manipulate this upwards 
making money with liquidation fees. So what happened in the past with the token might not be indicative of what's going to happen in the future, simply because the nature of the trading is not changing as it's shifting from Solana on-chain to the centralized exchanges. If you got some value out of this video, feel free to subscribe. I publish videos regularly. I try to be early. Feel free to also give this a like. It helps the channel grow. In case you've got Telegram, then you are more than welcome to join. The link is down below. It's 100% free. Looking very much forward to chatting with you. Cheers.